Hi guys, welcome to a new weekend vlog. It is Friday and it is after work now. Um, I've had a pretty good week this week. I feel like it went fairly slowly. I felt pretty positive in myself, so that's been really good. I haven't felt too emotional. So yeah, um, I have a big spot coming here. I don't know if you can see it under my makeup or not. So I'm not sure where that's come from because I haven't suffered too badly with my skin recently. Anyway, I yeah thought I'd just start my vlog now. I'm quite hot because I've just been cleaning and I am wearing a thermal top. So I think I'm going to have to get changed. But yeah, I have just decided to do a bit of cleaning because I think it's good to get it just out the way on a Friday now that I have more time at home. And I've cleaned the bathroom and I've mopped the kitchen and mopped the bathroom as well. So I feel like I've ticked off most of my things already. I just need to change the bedding this week but I can do that tomorrow. I kind of like to have fresh sheets, sheets? I like to have fresh sheets at the weekend. Just feels like a fresh start, so I'm gonna do that tomorrow, I think. What else is there to tell you? Uh, tonight I'm just gonna do normal dinner. If you watch my What I Eat In A Week video, which I'll link up here, um, I'm probably gonna do a bit of a combination of one of the dinners I did the other week. So we're gonna have fish cakes and probably like some, I'm really conscious, I might have some lip stuff on my teeth. Um, so we're going to have fish cakes and sweet potato wedges. So I'm going to start doing it soon because I'm pretty hungry and the sweet potatoes will take a bit of time. It's ten past six now. I feel like we've been watching quite a lot of TV lately, or I have anyway. So we finished the morning show, which was really, really good on Apple TV. Really, really enjoyed that and looking forward to the second series. We've been watching a lot of Louis Theroux on Netflix, like some of his old documentaries. We both absolutely love Louis. And yeah, well, I think we're going to like try and get through like literally all of his things because we've watched most of them, but not all the old stuff. And then I've started getting back into Grey's Anatomy. I didn't realise I'd missed like literally like six seasons of it. I didn't realise how much was left. So I've cracked on with that and I have been reading. I'm not quite into my book, which is American Marriage. I'm not quite sure why. Just haven't kind of hooked onto it yet. But I think that's quite good because it means I can be a bit proactive this weekend. We went to the garden centre today as they are now open. You just have to like social distance. And we needed some plants and a bit of soil. So yeah, adulting at its finest. But it was quite enjoyable. So we need to just plant this weekend so I might show you that as well what else I've been up to I did yoga yesterday I have been doing it weekly which has been great I have just really fallen in love with it during lockdown it makes me feel much happier and just clears my mind so I have been loving that so yeah so many of you baked my cookies from last week whether that's from seeing it on my Instagram or seeing it on here and it's just been so nice seeing all your like photos and stuff and hearing from you so yeah thank you if that's any of you watching and my smoothie bowls as well so I have really enjoyed seeing that anyway I feel like I have rambled not too bad three minutes uh, I'm gonna start doing dinner my camera needs a charge at some point and yeah see where this weekend takes us okay so I just finished dinner so we've got fish cakes, sweet potato wedges, they may be a little bit overdone, and veg, and then I also have done this little garlicky sauce again, if you watched last week's video, um, so yeah. Time for a movie night, got some popcorn, and a G, well, gin and lemonade, because I've run out of tonic, and mint. Saturday. Um, I'm not wearing any makeup today because my spot is still sort of trying to come out and I thought I'd just give my skin a break today. So yeah, I will be going makeup less. I've cleaned my hair today. I haven't straightened it again. I feel like I need to give it a bit of a break from heat tools. Um, it's lunchtime now. You can probably hear down in the background starting to get plates out. So we're going to do some lunch. We have been in the garden just now planting some plants. So I'll show you that in a bit if you're interested. And um, putting some new soil out. So yeah, it feels very satisfying. Um, we watched a film last night. I can't remember what it was called. It was something Missy. It was like a new film on Netflix. Dan actually said 2 out of 10 <laughs> when it finished. So that was how bad it was. But it was fine just for a 
something to watch. And yeah, I've just been chilling in bed quite a bit this morning, watching Grey's Anatomy and um, doing a wash and changing the bed sheet. So quite productive. We are going to eat now. I think we are having our usual lunch of turkey bacon. Oh, and neighbours out. Uh, take bacon, no eggs today, but some cherry tomatoes, spinach, and avocado. Tasty. Go, not presented well at all, but got some almonds, tomatoes, and bagel, and mayo just everywhere because it was a mess. Here are our new little plants because we had a gap here. So, yeah, I don't know why this one's so far back. But yeah, these are like pink, purple, and yellow, I think. So, it should look nice. And then we've just Put new soil in the rest of the beds. I say good morning it's not it's nearly lunchtime and it is Sunday and I feel like I'm failing a bit this weekend guys because I sort of stopped vlogging yesterday it wasn't sort of planned but I just felt like what I was doing wasn't really very vloggable for you um I did a lot of gardening and I went out our front little garden and I was just trimming the hedges I actually borrowed my sister's like a big like proper hedge trimmer so I'll show you some before and afters because they were really 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 bushy before and they really needed a good tidy up so I used the big electric trimmer which was very fun and but it did hurt my arms and back a little bit and then I did a good trim down so yeah I feel much happier now with what that looks like but it's just obviously quite hard to vlog that kind of thing when you're a outside like our house obviously I want to keep it private and um be it's probably not that exciting really but that is the reality of my weekend and then I had a good long video call with a couple of friends we were on video call for like an hour and a half did a few like quiz questions as well which was fun and then in the evening I had a chili con carne so one of my favorites and then we played a bit of Scrabble in the evening. So yeah, it was really, really nice. And as I said, just not very vloggable really. But I feel like even today, I'm not really sure what to talk to you guys about or show you or whatever. I have done my makeup this morning. I went for a slightly different eye colour today. This is from that same um, CRT palette that I've talked about before. But it's just a slightly different one. I have also started wearing blusher a bit again. I'm wearing bronzer as well as a bit of blusher i think it's because i'm using the um one of the nars bronzers compared to the one that i was using and i feel like it's a little bit brown for me but i'm quite enjoying wearing a bit of blusher again actually see so yeah, i've gone quite heavy today but i just wanted to put makeup on basically and my spot has calmed down quite a bit actually i do find that this is quite good for me when I have spots coming. It's the Body Shop Tea Tree Night Lotion and it is suitable for blemished skin. That's kind of what the tea tree range is good for. And yeah, if I've got a spot that kind of feels like it's coming or I just want to calm it down, I put a little bit of that on it. And it definitely does do the trick for me a little bit. So yeah, I would recommend that. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what I can vlog today. I think, I did think what I could talk about a little bit was wedding. So we aren't getting married until next year, as you know. So I feel very, very lucky that we didn't decide to like move it to this year, obviously, what with everything going on. Um, I mean, we're having a super, super small wedding anyway, um, which I've talked about a bit. But I haven't gone into a lot of detail about the wedding just because it is private for me. However, I definitely do want to talk a bit more about it. We are going super, super budget. We're having a tiny, tiny wedding. And yeah, for various different reasons, which I won't go into, but we want to do it like that. So what it means is I am actually getting a dress that is, I want to say cheap, but just not expensive. I don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds or thousands of pounds. I think it's not, personally for me, it's, I don't think it's worth it for one day, especially as we're having such a small wedding. Each to their own. Some people look absolutely beautiful in 
very expensive dresses uh, but personally I just don't want to spend loads of money on it and um, we would rather save the money for a honeymoon and other things so I have tried quite a lot of dresses now um, some high street some not as high street but definitely like good value for money and I'm really struggling because I feel like I've tried quite a few now and I like all of them in different ways I don't like love any right now I don't like put one on and think this is it but the more I kind of talk to people on Instagram and stuff it kind of seems like you don't really necessarily get that feeling a lot of people said you do tend to like a lot of them and in the end you almost just choose which one you feel like the best in or the most comfortable in I don't think it's like a that is it so yeah it might be quite nice if any of you have got married before or planning to get married have bought a wedding dress to let me know in the comment box below if you've got like a feeling or whether it was sort of similar to what I've said you kind of like a lot of them you just end up sort of making that one decision um, and because obviously I'm going budget it there's only so much I feel like I can sort of do in terms of alterations um, Dan's nan is very very good at um, like sewing and altering clothes and stuff so I would get her to do it but yeah uh, please let me know because I feel like it is still a long way away yet as well and because I am buying high street and not going too expensive I'm fairly happy to wait as well and try some next year as well because yeah I think I just want to feel completely happy with my decision I have got a couple actually here at the moment one of them I do like and I thought it was exactly what I wanted however it does feel like it needs quite a lot of alterations the other one I've sent pictures to like my family and best friends and some like it more than the other one however I don't know if it makes me look a little bit bigger than I am but I have got a few different options on the way to try and I'm holding out a lot of hope for those so I'm hoping that they're not a disaster because I feel like maybe then I'll be back to square one again so yeah please let me know your experience of it and obviously it's quite hard as well at the moment because I can't go see people in person and like show all the dresses on with like my friends and family so I'm going to hold out a bit longer and then hopefully within the next few months I can actually show people properly and yeah, I feel like I rambled there, but it'd be really good to get your opinion and um, your experience as well. What else was I going to say? Yeah, it is half twelve. I really thought today would be a day that would just sit outside in the sunshine, but the weather is just super cloudy, so that is quite annoying. But I still think it's maybe quite warm, so I might just go read out there. But again, I'm watching Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I'm just so into it right now. Another thing I was going to talk about as well is that actually in the next vlog it will be my birthday because my birthday is the day after the next bank holiday Monday and yeah I'm feeling alright about it. I love birthdays just because I do. Dan's always really really great at making a birthday good anyway so I'm not too concerned about it being a bit sad. Obviously because my birthday is in a prime time for like summer or spring and the bank holiday it's always nice to kind of get together with people have like a barbecue and stuff so that'll be the only thing that'll be a bit sad but I've got the day off and obviously now that we can go to more public places I might potentially go to the seaside as it's like my happy place and yeah so let me know if any of you have experienced a birthday during lockdown if there's anything that made it seem a little bit better for you than just a normal day I'm planning just to do all the things that I like to do and yeah drink some Prosecco and I'm sure I'll be catching up with people on Zoom and video call and stuff anyway but yeah just let me know because that'll be interesting. This is our lunch today another smoothie bowl this time it's got spirulina in it which is what gives it the green colour if you go onto my Instagram stories I've got a smoothie bowl highlight so it's got all of like yeah our little recipes. I have been out in the garden this afternoon and we just had a good family zoom call so that was good. I thought I would just finish this vlog by doing like a mini kindle haul because I've purchased quite a lot of kindle deals recently so I thought I would share them in case they are still um, available. I'm just going to look up as well while I'm talking to you if they are still on offer on kindle. So the first one I got, which is still on offer as of today, which is Sunday, this should be going up the next day on Monday, is The Silent Patient, which I've seen quite a few good things about. It's 99p right now on Kindle, and it's like a crime thriller thing. I think a lady shoots her husband, and then when they're trying to look into what she's done, she's like, it's just silent, she doesn't say anything. So I think it's like a psychological thriller, and I believe it is coming out as a film. I'm not sure who's in it, but... I thought it sounded good so I got that and um, I also got the prison doctor which I'm just going to see if that is still 
available. Uh, unfortunately, that isn't 99p anymore, but it's 2.99. Um, but it looks like the payback's also three pounds. So yeah, that is about a lady that is a doctor within a prison. <laughs> um, I think it's a lady anyway. Uh, yeah, and supposedly this is better than this is going to hurt. So I thought I'd get that whilst it was on offer. So I hope that's good. I also got such a fun age, which I don't know if that's going to be offer anymore. Let me just check. I don't know if this is actually any help because <laughs> no, it's not on offer. But I thought I'd tell you anyway. So yeah, I ordered that. It's such a fun age by Kylie Reed. Lots of people been talking about that, and it was only ninety nine p. And it looks like it's quite a short book as well. So that is good. The next one I got was Pretending by Holly Bourne, which again is something that I've seen a lot on um, people that I follow on Instagram. That is $1.99 still, so go have a look at that. I'll leave links below for you. And I read her first one, uh, I can't remember what it was called now. How Do You Like Me Now? Something like that. I didn't love it actually, but I just wanted to give another one of her books a try and I had heard this was good, so I did want to give that a go. And then another one I got was The Other Half of Augusta Hope. Because again, that's supposedly meant to be good, and um, my friend also got it at the same time, so I thought I'd try and read it at a similar time to her. That is still 99p, so go have a look at that if you're interested. But that is, um, I think it won one of those like Costa Book Awards, so supposedly that is good. And then the last one I got, as well as the one that I've been reading, which is American Marriage, the last one I got is called Mixtape. And the only reason I got that was because I wanted something similar to Normal People, because I felt like I was feeling bereft from watching that. Uh, and that is 99p. Suppose that came up on like a recommended thing, similar to normal people. I think it's about like a first love and how they make mixtapes for each other. I don't know if it'll be as good. It might be a little bit too cheesy. But I will also link that down for you below. So yeah, loving my Kindle right now just because I'm enjoying being able to get really quick and good deals. As I said, it's nearly my birthday and I've asked for quite a few books for my birthday. So I'll show you that when I've opened them. And yeah, I'm going to leave this here because I feel like it's gotten to a good point. I don't think this is the best vlog in the world, but um, hopefully you guys don't mind. As I said, it is my birthday like near the end of next weekend. So I may or may not actually upload next week. It depends whether I want a break from editing or not. But I will still vlog it. It's just whether I get it up for you next week or not. So I potentially will have a break next week. May not. So yeah, you'll either see me next week or you won't. Or you'll see me the week after. I need to stop talking. We're going to have a barbecue now. Similar, well, nearly exactly the same food as last time. So there's no point in me vlogging that for you. And yeah, I will see you again soon. Don't forget to let me know about weddings below and maybe what you've also been reading too lately and if there's anything I need to put on my reading list. See you soon. Bye.